wanted to update the golden yellow paint color in this two-story foyer for several years now. But the walls are 18 feet high and there is a curving stairway up one side and there's not a lot of room to maneuver ladders. It felt really daunting. My husband has kept insisting that I hire a professional, but I'm pretty stubborn and I'm always trying to save us a few bucks. So against his better judgment, I set out to see if I could just get this done by myself using a couple ladders that we already owned, a long extension painter's pole, and some of the Shoreline edging products. I figured if I really messed things up, then I could hire the professional to come in and fix my mistakes. And hopefully I wouldn't fall off a ladder in the process. I'm not gonna keep you in any suspense. Here is the before color and here are my results. I would call this success. The gold is gone, replaced with Benjamin Moore Manchester Tan. The lighting on the day I recorded this was so bad. Sorry about that, but I'm really happy with it. There were no injuries except for very tired and sore muscles. The stair rail did sustain an injury that I'm going to have to repair, and there were a couple paint mishaps. Overall, the results that I wanted were achieved. That being said, I would categorize this DIY as really difficult. It took considerable patience and endurance going up and down the ladders and the stairs repeatedly. I did not love balancing myself on the ladders and stairs. It was hard, it was hard. So if you're going to attempt this, here are my top tips for success and how the products that I chose to use worked out. But first, a quick disclaimer. I think we all need to acknowledge that painting from a ladder or a stairway is not easy. In fact, it is difficult and potentially dangerous. There is a considerable risk for injury. You should use extreme caution or avoid it altogether. If you decide to climb up a ladder, you do so at your own risk. You have been warned. Okay, back to the video. What I used were both a six foot and a 12 foot A-frame ladder that we already owned, a painting extension pole that has threads on the end and could expand from six feet to 12 feet tall. And to the end of that, I could attach both the Sherline Edger Pro and the Sherline Corner Painter, along with just my standard nine inch rolling brush. If you are gonna use one of these extension poles, I highly encourage you to get comfortable with it in the space that you're going to be using it. These are long. So what I did, I actually purchased this angled paintbrush holder that is by Mr. Longarm, and I put a Swiffer duster in it, and this allowed me to not only get rid of all the dust and many, many cobwebs, but also just to figure out how I can best maneuver it and myself up and down ladders and balancing on stairs and how to avoid banging it into the stair rails. It was just very valuable time learning the entire space with that pole because it is substantial. And by the way, if you want to try to avoid the ladder altogether, they do sell longer extension poles than what I purchased. I just felt like I couldn't maneuver it properly within the space that I had, but they are available. And once I had everything clean and dusted and I was feeling a bit more comfortable, I decided to get right to tackling what was going to be the most difficult part of this job by far, and that's getting that edge along the ceiling. I didn't plan to prime everything, but I did start with a white primer up along that edge just to make sure I would cover up all the yellow right up to the ceiling. And this is the point where I learned how challenging it was going to be to both put enough pressure on the extension pole so that paint would actually come off onto the wall, but also not so much pressure that the wheels of the Sherline Edger wouldn't roll. I I have to confess that this is where I almost gave up because of how difficult and honestly a little scary on the ladder and on the stairway it, it was it was challenging but not impossible and I'm so glad I didn't quit as you can see I gradually figured out that coming at it from an angle was the way to go this was difficult on the ladder but if you just keep reminding yourself to take it slow, be patient, you're gonna get it done. And now let's all enjoy some very real moments with the Sherline Edging products. Thank you. 
I was working along and all of a sudden this fell off of my pole and the whole thing just broke. And so unfortunately I'm at a standstill. I went ahead and did the corners with this and I love this. This is great. I'm just gonna go buy another one because I'm so close to finished. <laughs> So this is how I distribute the paint onto the paintbrush. I put it heavy in the middle, generous through the middle, and then just a quick little light, light brush to the upper and lower edges. No paint on my wheels still. Here is my setup at the top of the ladder. I have a little bucket lined with aluminum foil with the paint in it, some paper towel and my little brush. And then I do have a wet towel in case any paint gets on the wheels. And then just over here to the side is my extended pole so that I can reach it right here really easily. I'm pretty much finished now with using the Sherline products. How do I say what I need to say about these? I've done what I need to do with them. That's the key point, I guess, to make. Are they amazing? Yesterday was really frustrating. I was really excited about this one. I used it straight out of the box. It had the perfect 90 degree pad fit on there perfect. I got lots done, it was going fast. And then when I replaced it, it just didn't fit right. And this is a Sureline brand replacement. And so the resulting issues I had was I had to push so hard to get it into the corner. And then this little this little lip at the bottom that's supposed to hold it in place, it, it it's just so close to coming off there because of that bowing. I was, it was just coming off yesterday repeatedly. And I was, I was getting the job done, but it just went very, very slowly with this thing flying off multiple times. That was really frustrating. There were no instructions that came with it. I don't know what I was doing wrong. And then to be fair, this also, I mean, you really have to push to get the leverage. You know, you're, you're pushing hard and you're, pushing it sideways and multiple times even this will just come loose and fall off. I have it on right, but I mean, these are just cheap little plastic pieces that hold it on. And, you know, it's just a cheap little device. So lots of frustration at times, but just kept getting back up, putting it back on and got moving along. And I did it. I'm done with all of the edging, I guess. I guess I would say I recommend these with understanding that they're not perfect. But to be fair, with all of that frustration comes a lot of dollar savings. So take that for what it is. I would use these again. If you have used a different brand or product, please shout it out for those who might want to try this as well. Thank you. So there you have it. The mission was accomplished using some pretty basic items. Do I recommend this for everyone? Absolutely not. If you've never painted before, if you've never been on a ladder before, please don't do this. But now I'm curious, if you clicked on this video, I assume that you're considering something like this. Did I encourage you or did I discourage you? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you like this video, please let me know with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There is lots more coming. Thanks everyone, have a fabulous day, bye.